My name is Anushka Vidanagi, and I was born on 29th February 1990. My address is number 17 Barry Drive, Acton. My phone number is 0410927517. And my credit card number is 5217-1690-2640-7534. Isn't it pretty weird that I just told you all of that information? But every day, we all provide private information like this to different organizations. Online shopping, social media sites, job applications, health services have all become part of our modern lives, but in exchange of our sensitive private information. Now, typically, this information is anonymized to protect your privacy. But here's the catch. These anonymization techniques are not perfect. They can be breached, exposing your identity, causing damage to your personal lives. And that's what happened in 2016, when the Australian Department of Health published supposedly anonymized medical billing records of 2.9 million Australians. Within a few weeks, the research team was able to re-identify individual patients, including a former prime minister, just by analyzing the patterns in that data. Imagine if that data ended up in the hands of the wrong people. This is unacceptable because privacy is a fundamental human right. Here's where I come in. I am an ethical hacker. In my research, I investigate potential privacy attacks on your anonymized data. I think like an attacker to find weaknesses in anonymization techniques. This is the kind of data that I work with, zeros and ones. These are called bit vectors. Each of these vectors contains sensitive information of a person, like a name or a date of birth. Now, at a glance, they seem perfectly anonymized. But look closely, then you can see two patterns appearing, highlighted in red and green. The vectors with common patterns have common information, such as common names. There you go. We just cracked two patterns in this data. This is what I do but I am working with vectors of thousands of bits and data sets containing several millions of these vectors. With the help of my research, we can strengthen these anonymization techniques and ensure the privacy of individuals. But more importantly, it will make you feel safer when sharing information. So the next time when you have doubts whether your privacy has been breached, call me. You've already got my number. <laughs>